So with that being said, the big dog is back! Hey guys, it's Ash here with Watch Mojo, and these are the top 10 biggest comeback stories in WWE. I am the game! Number 10, The Rock. Ring rust can affect even the greatest WWE performers, but what about the great one himself, The Rock? It had been nearly eight years since the real-life Dwayne Johnson had wrestled in a WWE ring, having successfully transitioned into the world of acting. Even Johnson's final two years in the company showcased what was essentially a part-time Rock back in 2003 and 2004. That said, when Rocky returned in 2011 to feud with none other than John Cena, it was a big deal. Finally, The Rock has come back to Anaheim! The face that runs the place collided with the People's Champ at WrestleMania 28 the following year and did not disappoint. Let's just forget that supposedly once-in-a-lifetime matchup actually had 50-50 booking, shall we? Number 9. Chris Jericho Jericho possesses an uncanny affinity for reinvention. Oh! oh my god, JR! No other wrestler seems to be able to compete with the man when it comes to consistently making his career feel fresh, vital, and interesting. That said, Jericho has been able to return again and again from both a storyline and real-life point of reference. One of his greatest returns was following a series of cryptic binary code videos, Jericho would come back to confront WWE Champion Randy Orton. And let us not forget Jericho's last WWE return and run from 2012 to 2018, wherein the man officially became a Grand Slam champion. Truly, Chris Jericho is one of the GOATs. Jericho! Hey guys, Chris Jericho is he's won the one title that's eluded him throughout his entire career. Number 8, Shawn Michaels. It takes a certain special kind of talent to not only return from injury, but to potentially be better than they had been in the past. Yet here we are with the heartbreak kid Shawn Michaels, a man who came back from addiction and a career-threatening injury to become an all-time great. I can't believe it! Michaels had been badly hurt during a casket match with The Undertaker in 1998, forcing him to retire. Taking nothing away from what Michaels did in his career prior to 2002, it's not hyperbole to say that the Shawn Michaels we know today can largely be traced back to his post-injury return. The Heartbreak Kid absolutely killed it in the WWE between 2002 and 2010. It's truly the stuff of legend. Shot him landing on his feet. Oh, 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 oh my God in heaven! The sweet tin music! It is academic! Number 7, John Cena. Speaking of injuries, it normally takes wrestlers a lengthy amount of rest and rehab before they're ready to make a return to the squared circle. That's in part what makes this comeback story from John Cena so incredible. He who cannot be seen was the surprise number 30 entrance in the 2008 Royal Rumble event, a mere three months after suffering a torn pectoral muscle. The injury had occurred on October 1st, 2007, during a match with Mr. Kennedy, with absolutely no one expecting to see Cena back in the ring until at least six months. Yet there he was, with the sort of swagger that said, Hey, I'm an inhuman dynamo that can't be stopped. Let's do this. Incredible. Number 6, Triple H. Triple H's return from injury didn't occur with the same sort of speed as John Cena. However, it could be argued that the game's return was just as validating. The man once known as Hunter Hearst Helmsley had suffered a completely torn quadricep muscle during a tag match on May 21st, 2001. He was out of action for three-fourths of a year before making a triumphant return on January 7th, 2002. He's back! This time, Triple H was a babyface, or good guy, and looked to be in incredible shape. He reminded the rapturous WWE faithful 
that he was indeed the game and that he was back in action, it was definitely a feel-good moment. Number 5. Drew McIntyre Not every WWE superstar gets a second chance at glory. Then again, not every WWE superstar is Drew McIntyre. The Scottish Superman was legitimately let go from the company back in 2014, after sliding down the roster to jobber status. In other words, wrestlers consistently booked to lose. McIntyre picked himself up by his bootstraps, however, competing in indie promotions while also getting into the best shape of his life, before finally making his way back home to the E. Oh my god! Is that? It is! It's Drew McIntyre! This time his career was running in the opposite direction all the way from the company's NXT division to a world championship run in 2020. WWE Champion is operating on a different level. Number 4. Edge It was a moment that many wrestling fans never thought they'd see. The longtime fan favorite Edge back in a WWE ring. The rated R superstar had been out of action for years after neck injuries had developed into cervical spinal stenosis. Edge stayed retired for nearly a decade before his return at the 2020 Royal Rumble shocked the world. Here was a healthy Edge doing what he loved and doing it well. It was a rapturous reception by the crowd in Houston, Texas too, creating an atmosphere that was positively electric. Number 3. Roman Reigns The very nature of this list means that we thankfully have a lot of feel-good stories to relate. This definitely feels like one of those, since the WWE's head of the table was once sidelined by a very real leukemia diagnosis. My real name is Joe. And I've been living with leukemia for 11 years. Sadly, Reigns was no stranger to battling the disease, as he admitted to the WWE audience during a promo on October 22nd, 2018. Roman's leukemia had been in remission for 11 years before coming back, forcing the former Shield member into a temporary hiatus. The big dog proved resilient, however, and Reigns triumphantly returned to the WWE on February 25th, 2019. He informed fans that his leukemia was once again in remission. The good news is, I'm in remission, y'all. Number 2. Daniel Bryan He was a man who gave everything he had to the wrestling business, who wanted nothing more than to compete in a wrestling ring. Concussion issues and a lesion on Brian's brain had resulted in an early retirement back in 2016. It is with a heavy heart and the utmost <sighs> sadness that I officially announce my retirement. Yet, a little over two years later, Daniel Bryan was medically cleared to wrestle again during a very emotional promo on SmackDown Live, and the WWE Universe couldn't have been more excited. Every doctor I've seen has said the same thing, and it is this. You are cleared. It was a truly emotional and wonderful moment in wrestling television. Fight for your dreams! Fight for your dreams! And if you fight for your dreams, your dreams will fight for you! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Eddie Guerrero Eddie may be gone, but his legacy will never be forgotten. The man's contributions to the wrestling industry will live on forever, as will this incredible moment from a career defined by incredible moments. Latino Heat had battled back from injuries as well as personal demons to become a man revitalized. In my opinion, it should be in waiting every week for Latino Heat. 
This was Eddie Guerrero firing on all cylinders, delivering what could easily be described as the best work of his career. And it was all rewarded when Guerrero achieved the WWE's top prize during an iconic bout with the beast Brock Lesnar. True to fashion, Eddie lied, cheated, and stole to beat Lesnar at No Way Out 2004, but the resulting celebration was nothing if not validating. Eddie truly was one of a kind. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.